Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Round Dark Table. Today we're going to be looking at a photo submitted by Noel. If you're new to this series, this is where we work on a photo that was submitted by one of the viewers and afterwards we compare my edit to the original edit and we try to learn from both. If you would like to have your photo featured in one of these videos, then you can find the details on how to submit your photo in the description below. In addition, please specify what kind of honorific you would like to be inducted to the table as. Noel, I use the default Sir. If you would like to be called something else, then please let me know and I will change it. Alright, so let's go through this step by step. It is a nice photo. I like the bit of red in the sand here. I think that could be great. There's a little bit of an overexposed area where the sun was shining through. There are details in the sky. But I think it's a quite a high dynamic range photo. Which is going to be the challenge. But we'll see how we tackle that. Okay. White balance. Let's see what the AI does with it. Okay. It's a little bit warmer. Which probably fits well. I have to already think. Well, not really. I wanted to say we have to think about what we want to do with it, but the white balance should be as correct as possible. Consider this to be a white area. Okay. Over here. Looks good. Of course, I'm doing this without having the advantage of being there to know what it looked like. And again, let me reiterate that there is no correct way of editing the photo this is just my way it's not oh that's how you should do it all right moving on crop I'm not sure we're going to be able to resurrect this to any acceptable manner and it's a little bit distracting I don't want to take a lot out here but Maybe we can cut a little bit of this. What about here? Do we want all of this? Yeah, I think this is all quite nice. Let's see. I'll try something a little bit with a panorama cut. Don't know if you guys like that. But for these kind of photos, sometimes it helps. What happens if we just stick to the original image? We're going to cut a little bit of this, but it might be nice to start this here. We are cutting those out though here now. Hmm. Let's put some guidelines. Rule of thirds, it's okay. Let's try the diagonals. I see lots of uh, what you call them diagonals here, yeah, angles here. Um, make it smaller but I can see the cuts and we try just go back to the rules of third where are 
have the points I think it's a little bit half half here which is not probably what would you usually do but I'm not sure if it's really that bad here let's close this and see what we have it is going to be quite difficult but that's besides the point let's try to do something more classic I think I prefer this one mainly because as much as there is the interest in the sky of the clouds and the reflection of the sun I think the main object is going to be here and we're going to try to lighten this and get as much texture and color as we can so I'm going to stick with that all right exposure well let's see if we can use what we learned last time clipping indications oh this is too dark okay I guess we would have could have guessed that right where was the focus focus is a little bit in the background okay and where is the row here there is there are no in overexposed areas anymore here because we cut them all off I think all right I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to get a bit of gray around my image and then I'm going to use the exposure to fix the midtones I don't want to overdo it I think stick to that Let's see what did we do yeah I really don't want to overdo it because I'm going to expand this a little bit this dynamic range here let's see of course we can tweak all of this later if we find out that we need more exposure then we can go back to it and add some I'm just now going to move to the filmic RGB all of the modules that we use here are covered in the dark table from A to Z series okay start let's add some contrast here and then go and go back and okay I don't think we can have to do any reconstruct but no we'll leave it for now Okay, let's see what did we do now after the crop so that's how it was that's the exposure plus filmic all right colors color balance RGB let's first set the white fulcrum just in case we need or we want to change the luminance or oh, sorry the power what kind of color do we want to put in this I think this is all I think it's quite obvious that all of this is going to be in the shadows and maybe in the middle gray let's see yeah shadows not much and this is all Highlights. All right. So shadows. I want some to uh, exaggerate this color a little bit. So it's a little bit pinkish. I'm going to put it here somewhere. I'm going to add lots of chroma here, just to see if that's the color we want. So maybe a little bit too blue still. 
this yeah I think this fits then we'll roll this back to something more sane is that much let's see what have we done till now might be a little bit much let's put it at six we'll leave it at this for now and then we'll continue with it later we'll see how we need to fix it um how about the highlights so with this this is a little bit colorless here but there's those here as well you try adding some blue and see how that works which blue again we're gonna do the same and see what who this kind of blue then again lower this to something that's let's see problem is that we're changing the color here too you see that and that's not what I wanted can use another one and then use a mask which probably is what I should do because here it's not working I'm going to lower this very much so that it's just a little bit of a hint yeah do we need to add something in the midtones to maybe counterbalance all of that red that we added in the shadows? We can try. Let's see. Does that make it a little bit better? okay and go to the master tab and then add some global chroma let's just put 20 and see how that works mm -hmm. maybe a bit more well all right well we're gonna do this that's use this guideline uh, and zoom out so, if you remember from the previous video this helps us to visually control the colors because of their white around it we can more accurately judge whether the colors are correct or exaggerated or not which now makes me see that there is quite enough blue here probably we don't need to add more maybe some saturation if I add saturation in the shadow if you remember I'll show you this is going to well doesn't look like it's not doing anything it's supposed to Oh yeah, there it is. Well, it's not doing a lot. It actually darkens them as well. So I'm not going to add a lot. Just maybe another 15. And in the midtones as well. What have we done till now? Yeah, that's enough red, maybe. more here maybe and then lower it a little bit in the highlights just to get rid of the color cast that we've added a little bit say 
Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Can't zoom in. Oh, I'm going to take this off and then judge it like this as well. I think there is enough now color here. We're going to add some local contrast and that as well adds color. Alright, let's keep it at this now and then we'll see if we need to add anything afterwards. Okay, okay, what's next? zoom in and see if we need to add some denoising we do so I'm going to enable this first just like it is and see if that's enough well that looks like it's enough like it is yeah can't see anything anymore let's not overdo it did we want to lightened here more but I'm afraid if I lighten here it's going to lose this 3d um, effect because it's lighter in the background than it is here and this is completely dark there's just a natural progression of luminance that I like mm, I think I'm going to leave it like this I still don't have a diffuse or sharpen in this setting so I'm just going to enable it and you can find it here and I think in the first one the recommendation is always to add one with a denoise but I'm not really sure if we need one or not I'm going to add it and then we'll see if we disable it or enable it at the end start with one with denoise just want to be um, careful that it doesn't actually remove the no details from the sand, which is what I expect will happen. Well, that's taking a long time. Let's compress this and re enable it. I uh, see, see what I mean. Uh, I think I'm going to do without it and we'll see if we really need it or not. Like I said, I want to add some contra local contrast using diffuse or sharpen. Now I'm just going to use the default. And here you can see the difference. I think that's quite good. I'm going to add another one. And um, well, you know what? I'm just going to do it using the default well yeah the uh, settings or what are they called presets that's it using the presets that come with it I'm going to add a dehaze wow that's a lot all right, so we're just gonna play around with the iterations here to find something we like. Five looks good. Yeah, five is good enough. We don't want to overdo it. And a third one, well, you know what, let's... Uh, Control, I press shift by mistake. I'm going to call this local contrast just to remember what we were doing. So it's control click to rename it. And this one instead of one, we'll call it dehaze. Then right click here to add a third one. And this one I'm going to use the lens deepener. Let's try with soft. Very slow computer. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. 
let's fix this too and we call it soft lens T blur that's handy because then we know what we need to change if we ever need to change them here we can even see them here now anything else this is blue enough I think we can try adding more blue and using a gradient but I th think it's going to look artificial because there are clouds in the sky there's enough red here as well we don't want it to look artificial and it's quite sharp what did I miss is there anything else we need to add I don't think so I think I like it like this it's quite 3d like I said with the forms but as well with the luminance so I think it's okay I think we're done here let's take a snapshot and go back to the crop and then see what we did so that's the original raw file after the color calibration and crop of course and that's what we have now again original and that's what we have all right I'm going to load Noel's work as well and then we can compare it to this one all right so that's Noel's edit and it's quite stunning you can see it he did exactly what we discussed he added a few graduated density let's have a look at what they do so there is one without any color well there's only two I think this one is called two but and one from here okay again without any color don't understand that one very much let's see what it does that's the easiest way to understand it okay it's to darken a little bit okay what else does he have Rody noise all of those are normal exposure I didn't mess about with the exposure a lot fine there is a tone equalizer an inverse tone equalizer which darkened the highlights and popped up the shadows which is quite what the photo needed we did it more with the um, filmic module and exposure but this works great as well see if we disable it then you can see how there's a lot of difference between the light here and the dark and then enable it and you can see it here that the dynamic range is compressed a little bit great there is a crop is there yeah well we're all right of course he took away the overexposed part with the sun and he used a panoramic cut oh, it's actually freehand all right all good what else color calibration is fine there's one diffuse and sharpen which is mainly sharpening okay nothing to say there it's quite sharp and nice Oh, there's as well a sharpen well all right let's maybe it doesn't hurt but if you're going to use this maybe disable the sharpen module there are two color balance one with a lot of vibrance and lots of colors okay the highlight 
which adds here and then the midtones and some saturation that's been a bit toned down in the shadows and the midtones oh and brilliance too it is quite colorful let's put the where is it this one to see did I disable the crop looks great quite colorful maybe a little bit like I said maybe a bit too blue but that's just uh, for my own taste but it looks quite nice I like that you kept those those add uh, to the photo all right that's quite good what does the other one do oh 12 more vibrance bit less colors in the highlight and more saturation in the highlight okay nice don't think there's a lot of messing around with the filmic module no I think it's the default and there is the local contrast again it's a matter of taste I prefer the local contrast in uh, the diffuse or sharpen but maybe it's just the novelty of it <laughs> it just looks nice and the contrast brightness saturation took away some of the brightness as well okay well wow, quite a uh, intricate edit by Noel but look at how nice it is excellent well let's put them next to each other and compare them and here you go right next to each other this is my edit this is Noel's I hope that you've enjoyed the video and learned from both of the edits if you have any questions recommendations or corrections please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.